Okay, I've got the Holy Stone HS720E, along with the electronic image stabilization on the camera, which works really good. And I've probably had this for about a year now. And after, almost exactly after a year, the battery started bloating. Take a look at this. You see the little bit puffy on the outside? This one's not so bad. I have to put the drone in the freezer though in order to take the battery out. So I put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer, and after about 25 to 30 minutes, I'm able to get the battery out. But the first battery that started bloating here, put an X on it so I know not to put it in the drone. It can't even go in the drone. So it used to be able to fit in the drone, but look at that. Now I can't get it in the drone anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and deflate this. Of course, nobody recommends doing this at home because there are gases in here. As you can see, this is puffed up all around and the only way I'm gonna get it to work while I'm waiting for my new batteries to come is to deflate this. So let's try it. I've got this little tiny pin. You can see it here. I'm gonna go ahead and deflate it. Then I just have some cloth tape I'm gonna put over the hole just to make sure that uh, nothing like uh, moisture could get in there. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna do one of the batteries and see how it works out. I'm gonna find a good spot in the center of one of these. That way I can put some tape over it and it won't be hitting the plastic. Well, actually look at the plastic. If you look closely on this, the plastic is bowing. See it kind of rounded? So it's actually pushing the plastic out. So let me get something just in case. I think I'll just go for that spot that I put on the X there. That's right in the center it'll be, and it'll be easy to put tape there and probably easy to squeeze the air out or the gas that's been emitted from the battery. All right, let's try it. Okay, the needle went all the way through. I felt it. I'm just going to be careful. Try to squeeze all of that air out of there. Press in the back. Look at that, nothing's coming out. Got that all the way through there. I made a pinhole and there's no gas coming out. Look at that, all the way in. So I'm guessing there's more damage to the battery than just gas that won't come out. And I don't want to poke a bunch of holes in this. It feels like it's gone down a bit. But the back side of the battery is still inflated. So it's flat here now. I can feel that it's flat. There are no more bubbles. Just clean that spot off. And I have some cloth tape. Just gonna put a piece of that over it. Now, like I said, this is nice and flat now. I feel confident I've got most of the gas out here. I've got most of it out. Now the back side of this battery, that's still bloated. So I'm guessing that's the other cell. All right, let's try it once again. I can really feel the gas in there. Let's get the needle again. Let's do it. Oh, wow, I heard that one. You can hear it. Just using this towel to flatten it out. I don't want anything getting on my fingers in case anything leaks out. 
All right, and I actually wiped off my ink on there too, so that's good, help clean it. Okay, this feels flat now. I heard the gas. I heard the gas come out of here, so this one's good to go. Let's just keep squeezing this until there's no more gas left. Okay, so now I cut a piece of tape. There's the hole right over the writing. And let's put it down there nice and tight. Oh, you can really see how loose this is. Look, I could even shift this around. So it was so tight before, it was bowing out the plastic on both sides. Now you could actually feel the battery pack moving around in there. Huge difference. All right, let's hope that tape stays and prevents other gas leaks. Now let's test it and let's see if it's gonna fit in the drone now. All right, let's test it. Let's see if it's gonna fit in the drone. You saw earlier it didn't fit in the drone. So here's my battery and it's patched on this side and patched on this side. I had bubbles on both sides and I couldn't get the gas out from one side. I had to actually pop both of them. The second back side, you really heard the gas come out. So let's try it now and see if it's gonna fit. Look at that, like butter. Just slid right in. Now look at the other battery. I didn't do this one yet. Kinda look at it from an angle. Straight on and a little at an angle. This one's a little bloated. And you can see the plastic is bowed right there. This was this is my good battery that's now starting to bloat. I've got to put the drone in the freezer every time to get this one out. And I'm afraid if I put this one in, it may not come out. Actually, you see, it's kind of tight here. Every spot where there's plastic bowing up here, it doesn't want to go in. So I'd really have to force it in. So really don't want to jam this in there. I know I could if I want actually want to take it out flying, but I'll wait. I'll charge this battery up and let's see if it takes a full charge. And then I'll do a test on it and we'll see how long this battery lasts. I just tested this battery. Today I did a full run on this battery from a fully charged battery until it was completely empty. Just flying it around a basketball court using different speeds and whatnot. And I was able to get uh, just over 19 minutes with it. 19 minutes from the time it started to return to home by itself, landed, and then I turned it off. So 19 minutes on this battery that's a year old. It's just starting to bloat. This is the battery we're going to test later. I'm going to charge it up. You guys know it takes like seven hours to charge. So I'll come back and do another video where I test and see how long this battery will actually last after it's been deflated. All right, I'll see you All back right, in a minute. Here's the battery that I just poked two holes in, one on each side to release the gas since it was bloating. Let's uh, test it out and see how long this battery will last. All right, here's the battery that I released the gas from because it was bloating. I have a really heavy duty cloth sticky tape on here. That's not gonna come off. You can see, look at that battery, is nice and flat now. There's no more bloating, no more bowing out, and it's fully charged up. So let's put that in the holy stone and turn it on. Seems to work fine. Okay, let me calibrate it and then we'll see how long it's gonna last. All right, I've got about 16 satellites right now. I'm good to go. And let's watch my watch. We'll wait till it's right at 8.43 a.m. And then we'll time and see how long this battery lasts after I fixed it. All right, let's go. Unlock the motors. All right, we'll do a time check when it's dead. I'm gonna fly it around the neighborhood and around the basketball courts. Let's see how long it lasts. So right now, you can see I've got 19 satellites. I've still got two bars, but it's been on two bars for a while. And it's 8.57 a.m. We were st we started at uh, 8.43. And I'm flying it around. I'm just hovering it because I'm using my phone to record this. But we're still in the air. I've been uh, going everywhere around the neighborhood. And 
the drone is done. It landed on its own. It didn't return to home. It just started beeping and it landed on its own. And now it's 9 a.m. So we got about 17 minutes of flight from 8.43 a.m. until 9 a.m. and 30 seconds. So a little over 17 minutes of flight on that battery that I repaired. So there you have it, my quick fix for my Holy Stone 720E bloated battery worked. I was able to get 17 minutes and 30 seconds flight time out of it, and everything seems to work fine. I plugged it back on the charger, and it's charging up right now. So in a pinch, if you really needed to fix your batteries while you're waiting for your new batteries to show up, this is one way to do it. Disclaimer though, it's recommended that you do not fix lipo batteries and you never puncture a bloated battery. Do this at your own risk.